Hey y'all, welcome back. Well, today's video is gonna be on the L4701, my Kubota tractor. And what we're doing today is I've got some more products from 511 Designs. I love their products. And we're gonna be installing their brand new brush guard. It covers more than what the other model did. I'm excited about putting this on, I just got it. So uh, I'll show you the tractor real quick and what the parts look like. And, uh, We'll get the installer. Now, of course, y'all have seen this on the videos. I've got the bucket up in there. This is my 4701 uh, full wheel drive, direct drive. Um, this has uh, been an awesome tractor full wheel drive. I cannot complain with it in any way. I really love this tractor. Done a lot of work with it. Uh, Land Pride bush hives come in handy, but. I want to get to the parts that we're installing today. So this, 511 design, this is their new brush guard for the front. The old one kind of come down and cut through here. This is more boxy, more sturdy. This is super thick material. This is the top portion. This is the bottom portion. This is acts like a chain guard for the bottom. And of course the side plates protect. So. What we're trying to do is, you know, it's very, as much as I work in the woods, it's very easy to puncture this front end because it's all open and exposed. It's very easy to punch through it, bust the grill out, get into your radiator. You got your clean uh, screen behind here, right back here. Plus the side guards are gonna protect these here where you get airflow in, keep sticks from ramming in there when you're pushing brush and whatnot or loading something. So. This is, uh, this is gonna be a huge upgrade for the old L4701. Okay, by the instructions that they've sent, it says step one, assemble bottom portion of 511 guard to the middle. Do not tighten the screws at this time. Leave the screws loose enough to allow movement. So basically the tools you're gonna need, you, everything comes nice, neat, boxed in a little white box. This is the bolt pack. Comes with really cool stickers. Everybody loves stickers. But um, one thing I do love about 511 design is that it is made in America. And um, this thing was stamped and built and everything right here in America. So what we're gonna do is it says to attach the bottom, the heavy plate, which will go like so, to the mid plate. So it's gonna take a 9 16 wrench and I'm using a Hex key 732 impact. I'm just gonna get them started with it. And we'll go ahead and get that put together. For a minute, I thought I had it wrong. Shouldn't have tightened it. So you don't want to tighten it all the way. You want it where it's got a little bit of play in it. So there's the front, the bottom. All right, so by instructions, I impacted these on the last time. So I don't want to impact them off this time. So you're gonna take these two bottom bolts out and just loosen the top. So that's first step and that's a seven eight socket. And all you're gonna do is loosen. At this time, it's probably best just to leave that tight. So now we're gonna go to these bolts which is an inch and one sixteenth. Break these nuts loose. Take 
You got two nuts on this one. Got them both at the same time. Pull them off. And you're gonna have three or four washers. You're gonna have your, these two nuts. And you're gonna go ahead and take this washer, that slide washer, and these two, well, leave them two on for now. And then just push this back out of the way. Follow to the other side. You want to go ahead and take your sub mates and go ahead and just loosen the top. Okay. So you got a little bit of wiggle room. I'll push these back up when I put the bolts back through it. Okay. Now you have two, you actually, when you take this apart, you'll have your two nuts on the outside of the bolts. You're gonna have one big washer and you've got these two that go just like this. This whole assembly is gonna go on the inside of this guard. You're only gonna leave one washer. So these slide pieces are going to work, or these slide washers, these like compressor washers, are going to uh, go against the inside of this plate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide these bolts back. Well, not like that. Slide these bolts back where the, they're barely even sticking through, just like so. And then we're gonna take this. This might take a little bit of wiggling. I'm gonna push this bolt. Oh, come on. Push that bolt through to hold it. Now this is where it might get a little finicky. This washer has to go in here. So you might want to take a screwdriver or something, hold it over, and then put your washer. There we go. So I'll move the camera up here and show you what this looks like. So basically, you need this washer this way you can see right there you need to wash her on the inside so what I would suggest is you leave one washer on put the guard on push the bolt through to hold it and then do just like I said on this side and take your washer it's kind of hard to get it between there the way it sprung so you might have to have a screwdriver to bend that back or just push it back a little bit slide the washer down put your bolt through now we're going to assemble it just like this. So you got your two, you got your two washers, and make sure that they're just like this. Hope you can see that. They need to look like that. Put those on that side. I'm going to do the same. Keep them the same orientation. Put them on this side. Then take your large washers, these, put them on both sides. And then you're gonna take both your nuts and screw them into place. Now I won't bother you while I put these, screw these on. I'll show what they look like when they're done. Okay, so basically this is what you're gonna end up with. As you can see, I've got that bolt on and it's, they're not tight, they're just hand tight. So now we can release the brush guard to come forward so we can work on it. Now, our two bottom bolts with the lock washers that we took out, we're gonna go in behind the chain box and go ahead and put them in. So, just line everything back up. One. Get those bolts in as far as you can by hand.
I have to wiggle up and down to get them to get started good. There we go. And that, that bolts on the bottom of your chain box and your lower guard. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is get you seven eighths and you're gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts back up and you gotta torque it to 100 foot pounds. I'm gonna use a ratchet to get it started, get them going, or get them tight. <clears throat> now we're gonna go set our torque wrench to 100 foot pounds. Right there. Lock it in place. Use your deep well submates. Go to 100 foot pounds. There's 100 foot pounds. Next, you're gonna get your inch and 16th socket, and you're gonna tighten these two bolts on the outside to the resistance you want on your uh, brush guard. I'll throw my inch and 16th in there. Okay, go a little at a time till we see how we like it. All right. I think I want it a little tighter than that. All right. Pull your pin. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And then you're gonna take your two nuts, and you're, these are just jam nuts. You're gonna run them in on both sides. And then you're gonna tighten your jam nuts down. So you can't forget about your bolts in the bottom. So we got our 732nd socket, which you can use a, you know, some people call them hex keys, some people call them Allen keys. Here in the South, call them Allen key, or a Allen head. And then get your 916th wrench, and you go ahead and tighten these bolts at the bottom. And this bottom part will be on. All right, now I would highly recommend to get you an Allen wrench or hex key, whatever you're gonna call it, 730 seconds, and go ahead and torque these down good. It don't have a torque spec that I've seen. Okay, by the directions, you need to take your front end, your upper guard, slide in first, and then force down, just like so. And there needs to be a 3 16 gap here for clearance when it goes forward. And that might differ on certain models because this does fit many, many models. So what I'm gonna do to assure it, I brought a clamp to put on here and hold it once I get in position. I've got a 3 16 Allen wrench. And I'm just gonna come down and touch that Allen wrench right there. I'm going to go ahead and clamp one side of this to where I can still move it around a little bit. Check my alignment. That looks good. 
because I would much rather have a little bit of a gap here as I would here. There's going to be more. It's going to be easier to get a stick through here than it is up here. So I'm going to kind of rotate it where it's square, like so. All right, I'm against my crossbar right there. I've got a good gap. Now I'm going to check my alignment, make sure that I don't hit. Oh yeah, plenty of room. That looks good. That looks real good. Matter of fact, I might even go down. I don't know, I'm gonna leave that gap there. I don't wanna get into a mess with it because I'm not gonna gain anything here. So I've got my line good. Everything's lined up. So now, you're gonna take a marker and mark, ease this forward. I suggest a clamp on both sides. Pull your pin. And then while everything's located where it's at, we're gonna mark it. Now, everything is marked, we'll go to the next step. Now for this next step, you're gonna need an eighth inch drill bit to start a pilot hole, and you're gonna need a three eighths bit to finish it off. So I'm gonna remove the guard, mark my pilot holes, recheck it, I won't bore you with it, and then I'm gonna drill the holes. Hey, pop out my my eighth inch for a three eighths. Drill these from the outside. Heck yeah! Okay, now my holes are drilled. I did the eighth inch pilot hole and up to three eighths. I'm gonna put my guard back in and make sure that everything lines up. Everything looks good. Now, if you're just installing the brush guard and you're not putting the side skirts on, you would be, you would go ahead and put, a, or your side protectors on, you'd go ahead and just bolt this in place. But my kit that I ordered comes with side plates and bolts. Now this kit will come with longer bolts. So you're gonna, if you have installed this already, you're gonna take the bolts you originally put in it out and the other ones are about a quarter to half inch longer and you're gonna replace them with it. So I'm gonna grab the bolts and I'm gonna put these in place while I'm at it. All right, so I'm gonna take my, my plates here. You're gonna have the, the 511 down. Okay, the bolt stick through the top slot, that slot right there. Go ahead and Get all lined up. There's that one. Let's see how good my bottom one lines up. That one started. There's that one. You're gonna take one flat washer and a nut. Go ahead and get these started.
Now, all you have to do is tighten. Three six, or seven thirty seconds. Uh, hex key or Allen wrench and your nine sixteenths. And you can position these up and down. I like where they're hanging right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and And that, my friends, is it. So, as you can see, that's completely encased. Keep a good line at the bottom. Those side covers look really good. And the main thing I'm after is try to protect anything coming up here on my headlights and try to protect these breathers or them uh, vents on the side. Really good fit. As you can see it's the same. Put it in the top of the slots. This thing has multiple slots. I'm probably gonna take and put another bolt here cause I have extra bolts or maybe another bolt here, but I'll have to look. I think my knuckle hit, but at this point, you can't beat that. That is just, that looks awesome. And the cool thing is this kind of serves two purpose in the bottom. If you look, that's it. That turns into a chain box down there. So you can drop a chain there and don't have to worry about getting your bush hogger up. Got a place to store your chains. Well, as you can see, that looks good. I mean, I love all 511 uh, designs, all of their accessories. I've got all of them on my, actually I have the rubber mat in there I'm fixing to put on here in a second. But this guard, the new design guard that acts as a chain box, bottom guard and top guard, completely protects that front end. Anybody that does stuff like I do with, uh, I'm in the woods clearing all the time for the food plots or picking stuff up or going and getting scrap metal, clean up farms, whatever. I'm always worried about that open grill in the front. This takes the place. Now you could get a factory grill from one, whatever your dealer is. They got these for John Deere, Kubota, Coyote, but they're great now, but this is heavier duty looks a lot better it comes in orange black and gray i just i had to wait on this design because i didn't want the old design when he told me he had a new design coming out for the 7 4701 and the 4800 models in the l series but this is well worth its money and lord knows it's worth its money when you ain't when you ain't got to replace the radiator or the reservoir tank or anything on the front of this so i hope this video helped you if you like these parts and the other parts in the other videos, I'll take the other video up here of where I put all the chain hooks and everything on this, uh, uh, on uh, my Kubota that come from 511 Design. So I hope you enjoy this. Drop a comment what tractor you got, what accessory you're running on yours. Let me know what you're using. Who knows, maybe we can learn from one another. But check out 511 Designs. All their information will be in the description below. And as always, God bless. We'll see you on the next video. That looks good. See you.